Good morning. What question was Jesus asked and that he answered that led his enemies to give up on throwing that spiritual Q&A thing around at him? Let's read it. Today we're in Mark chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. Let's read. Then one of the scribes came and have having heard them reasoning together, perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. So the scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You have spoken the truth, for there is one God, and there is no other but He. And to love Him with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself, is more than all the whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Now when Jesus saw that He answered wisely, He said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. But after that, no one dared question Him. So what's going on here? This scribe was there the other day, yesterday morning, when we had the Sadducees uh, questioning Jesus. And he heard that whole exchange that we looked at. But now he comes out and he's going to ask a question. So Jesus comes out and he says not only what the first commandment is, but Jesus adds the second commandment. And here's what happens then. The scribe says, yes, I agree. Jesus answers from, of course, Leviticus 19, love your neighbor as yourself. And that, of course, provided for uh, us directly providing for the needs of the poor in our community. Not, not through government, by the way, but us directly providing and helping them. So the scribe says yes, and just the scribe accepts it. Jesus has it. He wasn't asked what was the second commandment, but Jesus groups them together. Verse 31 has it. Uh, there is no other commandment greater than these. So Jesus is putting the two together. And so the scribe, the scribe agrees with Jesus. And this is what the show, showstopper was. Because now they're asking Jesus questions, and now what's going on? They're, Jesus is leading them to agree with him. Well, we, we can't have that, say the scribes and Pharisees and all the enemies of Jesus. So that's the problem here. After this, they're not going to ask him any more questions like this. this. This is over. Three chapters from now, they're going to crucify him. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your great love for us. Thank you for watching over us. We ask, Lord, that you will uh, help us to be on target, help us to be able to be agreeable to your word like this person was, and help us to not try to outsmart you, but to hear what you say and to agree with it and live by it. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Far from being a dead end, questions and conversations about Jesus was one of your best friends to helping other people come to know Jesus, your best friend. God be with you today.